Hey guys, I understand a lot of folks are having difficulties installing the HD 500 series on OS X, uh, specifically Mojave, Catalina, and Monterey. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you through those steps. This is a fresh install of Mojave here. I've used the same process on Catalina and Monterey. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is head over to the Line 6 website and to the download section. I have the HD 500 series. Again, this process will work on the HD 500X as well. So if I scroll down to the Pod HD 500, the first thing I'm going to do is download the uh, HD Edit. And I'm going to select Mac OS X. And make sure you're logged into the website here, otherwise it will uh, give you a secondary page where it makes you sign in and you may have to go back and click the download link again. Um, let's click go. Oh, let's try that again. Pod H oh, you have to, let's select the correct one here, Pod HD 500 edit. Okay. And we're going to download that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open that. Okay, now that we're in the installer, I'm going to go ahead and proceed. We'll click continue through these, agree. Um, on this, I'm going to customize. I don't want to install the drivers just yet. So let's uncheck that. We can leave the others. Now, uh, Monkey will not work on uh, Catalina or Monterey. It will work on Mojave. Uh, you can choose to leave that if you're on one of those other OSs. Um, it's not going to matter. Uh, the only thing with Monkey is that you need that to update firmware. So if you need to do that, you are going to have to have a supported machine. Let's go ahead and install, and I'll return as soon as this is completed. Okay, we have a freshly installed HD 500 edit, so I'm going to close that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is head back over to the download section. And again, I'm going to choose the HD 500 series. Uh, if you have the 500X, you're going to select that. Though I do believe it's going to be the same driver either way. It's all the same version. Um, so let's select drivers. Again, Mac OS X. And we're going to go. Okay, you'll notice the first option in the list is the version 1.0.0. That is strictly for the silicon driver or silicon processor. Um, so... We're going to scroll down to the version 7.6.8, and you can see it's been updated all the way to Monterey. So let's download that. Accept the down, uh, accept the uh, conditions, and we're going to install that. Okay, at this point, you do not want your pod plugged into the PC over USB. Um, make sure that's completely unplugged or at least turned off. I think it's probably better to completely unplug that. So let's go ahead and click uh, continue. Going to agree. Let's customize this. Um, and uh, I think these all look okay. So let's go ahead and click uh, install. Okay, we've completed the installation of the driver. Uh, for that, we're going to need to restart. Again, when you restart your machine, make sure that the uh, Pod HD uh, 500 is unplugged from your machine. Um, and uh, go ahead and click restart. I'm going to do this, and again, I'll return once that is. Okay, I have completed the installation of the driver, and I've rebooted my machine. So with the uh, Pod HD unplugged from the machine still, I'm going to go ahead and open the HD 500 edit. And of course, it's going to complain that it's not able to communicate. 
because it's unplugged. Okay, go ahead and click OK on that, and I'm going to plug my pod into my machine. Give it just a moment. And in some cases, you'll actually need to head up here to the uh, system preferences and go to security. And you'll see a notification here um, that shows up sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. If it does, just click the uh, button to authorize the driver. But as you can see, after a moment, it has detected my pod. I'm going to go ahead and click yes to load the presets. And uh, it's reading all of my saved patches. So um, that's uh, pretty much how it's done. It's pretty straightforward. I uh, just have to take a couple of uh, extra manual steps. If you have any questions, just uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll see. I'll be happy to help if I can. Um, thanks.